Around 700,000 soldiers died during the American Civil War. But the conflict did not begin with any casualties when the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter, and it quickly surrendered. However, the first recorded death of the war occurred in Virginia, at the Marshall House in Alexandria. The house flew a Confederate flag that was visible to many, including President Lincoln in Washington, D.C. The day after Virginia seceded, Union troops led by Elmer Ellsworth crossed the Potomac and captured Alexandria. Ellsworth went to the Marshall House and demanded that the flag be taken down. Initially, no one claimed responsibility for the flag, so Ellsworth climbed a flight of stairs and removed it himself. But as he was coming back down, James W. Jackson, the owner of the house, appeared and shot Ellsworth. Jackson had previously declared that the flag would only be lowered over his dead body. Union troops quickly avenged Ellsworth's death by killing Jackson, making Ellsworth and Jackson the first casualties of the Civil War. This was a great loss to President Lincoln, who had taught Ellsworth law before the war.